Hey guys, it's your boy Mushi. So today we'll be doing Ombaga's review. I have him at level 65, tier 10, ability level 6664. And as for the base stats, go to mstep.gg real fast. So at one yellow one yellow star, level 70. Base stat for health is at 35,892, which is really high. Damage is 2,219. Armor, 1,509. Focus and resistance are both at 439. Crit damage, 130%. Crit chance, 10%. Speed at 88. Dodge chance and block chance, both at 0%. Block amount, 25%. And accuracy at 100%. Compared to Thanos and Juggernaut, Thanos of course will always have the highest base stat. Just damage, it doesn't matter. For armor, Juggernaut has the highest. Focus, they're all the same. Same thing with their cells, resistance. Speed however, Thanos is higher. And Juggernaut is lower than Umbaku. Compared with everyone else, for health, he is ranked 7th, 36,524. So I give that an A, I give that an A grade. There's, when they released him, there's 92 characters now in game, and he's ranked 7th. So I give him an A for that one, damage wise. He is ranked 36. Oh, he's down there somewhere. Let's see. Oh, right there. For armor, he is ranked 22. Right there. under Drax focus he is eighth to the bottom just under Miss Marvel and above Hulk resistance he is eleventh to the bottom right here above Hydra Sniper and below Hulk crit damage crit chance that doesn't matter speed however does matter he is 88th 88 <laughs> his speed is 88 All the way at the bottom here. Ooh, it's a doozy over here. He's above Green Goblin and just under Magneto. And now we're gonna go over his kit. Cudgel Slam. Attack primary target for 260%. On target dodge, bonus attack for 260% damage. With the yellow mat, with the orange mat, add 40% damage to primary and secondary targets. Call of the Mountain. Gain taunt, plus one to two counter. Gain plus one charged up to a maximum of 5. With the orange mat, he gains 2 charge up to a maximum of 5 and he also gains 2 counter. Jabari Avalanche level 6 is attack primary target and all adjacent targets for 260% damage on kill. Chain to target adjacent to primary and attack 
that target and all adjacent targets for 260% damage. With orange mats, add 60% damage to primary and secondary targets. And his passive Ancestral Might on defense up, heal for 10% of max health. If already at max health, gain plus 1 defense up. While in charged, gain 100% block chance, gain 5% gain block amount per charge. On block, lose 1 charge. With the orange mat, add f f f plus 5% healing and plus 5% block amount per charge. So that means at full 5 charge, he can gain 125% block chance. That's pretty amazing. Let's almost let's see how much time we have. Oh, seven minutes. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> so I made two teams. I'm gonna do a little blitz run. Might as well put in Killmonger and Black Panther in there first. Since Killmonger and Umbaku gain something from uh, defense up, I put in Kingpin for offense up and defense up. And also added in Korath so Killmonger can do an, can do an assist. And I also added another team in there. I just subbed out Korath and put in Minerva to get in a heal. Let's try this team first. I slowed down the animation to one times so everyone can see the animation. He needs a speed up. It's too slow. Alright. Black Panthers. It's charged. Thus might do his taunt. No charge. He doesn't have any charge. If I do a special, he gains taunt plus one to two counter. He gains charge to maximum of five. Ultimate, primary target is 20% on kill. Chain to target adjacent to primary and attack that target and all adjacent targets within 60%. Basic. Just doing 60%. On dodge, bonus attack. 1%. This one's a boss.
let's see. So, but that's not doing anything. Defense up buff is not enough. He does heal, but that's not enough. He's too slow. And black W first. See what happens. This might be the last fight. Just three minutes left until the new blitz comes up. spell it's gonna be a big problem defense up She may dodge. We'll see what happens. Nobody's there for the Jason. Alright, we are going to do one Ultimus node.
we're going to try him as a pop and tank plug and play like cap but I'm not sure how successful he's going to be first Almost. Hey guys, so I figured I'd do a pros and cons with Mbaku. So overall, I'll give him a B plus. He's a decent tank, but his, his um some of his issues make him less of an effective tank. 
So starting off with this basic cudgel slam, attack primary target for 260% damage, on target dodge, bonus attack for 260% damage. You max it, becomes 300% damage. For a basic, that's a pretty good attack. I give it an A. His special, Call of the Mountain, gain taunt, plus 1 to 2 counter, gain plus 1 charge, up to a maximum of 5. You max it, gain plus 2 charge, and gain plus 2 counter. This special is pretty good. Not only that, not only you can manually gain taunt, you can gain also counter and you can gain two charge. However, the problem with that is it may be a three ability energy, but thing is his base speed is so low that he'll his turn order is probably gonna be the second or the last on the team. And that's a uh, that's pretty bad. So for this to be effective he needs speed up and someone to consistently give him ability energy. Next this is ultimate Jabari Avalanche. Attack primary target and all adjacent targets for 260% damage. On kill, chain to target adjacent to primary and attack that target and all adjacent targets for 260% damage. Max it, it becomes 320%. It's a pretty good ultimate because one, you can set it up where you can use BP's 100% um, turn, you know, his passive gives them 100% turn meter and you can just set it up for him. Or two, you can set it up to finish off opponents. I give it, I give it an A. And for his passive ancestral might, on defense up, heal for 10% of max health. If already at max health, gain plus one defense up. While in charge, gain 100% block chance. Gain 5% block amount per charge. On block, you lose one charge. You max it, he gains an additional 5% healing, and that block amount becomes 10%. So, his passive gives him while in charge, gain 100% block chance, and then gain 50% block amount per charge. That's uh, that's pretty big for a tank. He can block all the time. You have to be in charge though, and the block amount will be cut in half. That's pretty big. However, the problem is, he needs to be in charge. And in order for that to happen, it goes back to his special. Call the mountain. You max it, you gain plus two charge. With three ability energy, special. So if you can find a way to consistently spam this ability, He's a pretty good tank. Now for his problems. His speed is just too low. 88. And on top of that, he has a very low resistance. Not many characters have a high resistance. However, um, as a tank, when you get the fans down and everyone's focusing you on you, that's um, that's bad news. You usually die at that point. However, all of his cons are pretty much, for the most part, covered by Shuri. If you guys haven't looked at her kit yet, um, there's a data mine info online. And it's pretty good. She gives the team speed up. She gives ability energy. 
and she can also cleanse, which is pretty amazing for a character. No wonder that she's a legendary character. So um, that's it. Overall, I give him a B plus. That's base speed, man. That, that just gets to me. But um, that's it, guys. Let me know what you think. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button and like. And remember, you have one life. Make sure you enjoy it and make sure it counts. Take care.